I'm Spragboy Fresh, and this is the third part of my Kerbal Space Program tutorial on how to build a rocket, get into orbit, and return to Kerbal Space Center. So in this one, I'm going to work on returning to Kerbal Space Center, and here I'm in orbit, and I've rotated around to be in position to burn for a return. So I'm going to set a node and bring it back, uh, and set my tra trajectory to be off the coast of KSC. And yeah, I'm going to do a minor correction there. That looks about good. So now I'm going to rotate around and get in a position to burn. I'm going to put my indicator right on the node. And I fired a little there because I was getting a wrong calculation in how long I should burn. But now it's accurate and it says 23 seconds, so using the strategy that I showed you in part 2, I'm going to wait until I'm about, oh, 12 seconds away from the node, and then I'm going to throttle up to full throttle and burn it, that bar down. So there we go, 12 seconds, throttle up, and we have more than enough fuel to complete this maneuver and return safely, so no worries. And when it starts getting low, you're going to want to slow down, throttle back. Now, now you can do more precise maneuvers and make sure that everything is just fine. Okay, there. And then you can delete the node by clicking on it, right-clicking, and then hitting the X. I know space junk is going to fly past us and that'll stay in orbit, but that's no big deal. So right now I'm just trying to make sure that we're going to have enough room to land because as, uh, when, we're, when we enter the atmosphere, we're going to be slowed by drag and that will affect our trajectory. So I'm going to point this way, so I will enter the atmosphere facing the direction that I may want to burn to correct. I've, this uh, tank still has half, or about 50% fuel, so I'm going to warp into the atmosphere. I also have to deal with the fact that the planet is rotating away from me. So right now, I'm thinking that I've prob- yeah, I've definitely undershot. So I'm going to want to extend that out to deal with the rotation and the drag. And that looks a bit about good, but it's moving in kind of fast. I don't know. Push it out a bit more. And that's close enough for me. Again, this video is a tutorial on how to land at KSC. And in my book, that is approximately 50, or landing on land, 50 kilometers or less or so. Something like that from KSC. I by no means claim to be showing you how to land on the launch pad. That is just absurd and would require a lot of fine tuning and probably mech jeb. I could see you doing it with mech jeb, but manually I don't see that happening. So here I'm coming in and I'm just trying to keep burning so that I land by the shore. Not necessarily by the shore, but so that looks good so I break off the pod when I rotate it and then pop the chute. This was a mistake I made. I shouldn't have popped the chute so early because that's going to slow me down a lot and I'm going to probably land short. We can see where this goes, and it's not that short, I mean it's, if we're going to get specific here, somebody could drive out and collect the capsule in about 10 minutes, but I would have preferred to be a bit closer. But this is fine. And again, this is uh, why it was important to launch at 90 degrees, to make sure that you would come back uh, at, at the uh, right angle, and not Otherwise, the planet would be out of rotation, and you would be landing to the left or right, or north or south. So now I'm going to time warp down to about where my parachute deploys. It's important that when your parachute does deploy that you're in uh, times one uh, time, time warp. Otherwise, you risk your parachute breaking off, which wouldn't be good. So here, the uh, parachute is deployed. Uh, now it should be safe to go back to times four physical time warp. Yep, there we go. 
Now you just see the parachute coming down. It comes down really slowly, so it's fine to time warp. And once we reach the ground, I'm probably going to do an e EVA. Just let my little Kerbal Nod stretch his legs. Almost there. A bit more. And touchdown. There we go. So I'm going to let him get out. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this, or if this video helped you, feel free to comment, like, and I'm going to be releasing more videos and more tutorials, so subscribe. Thank you.